Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of a Secure Shadows Die Twice. Now, there's... Consider this a bit of an update with this series. So I have been playing through the game and recording it as well. But personally, I haven't really been liking how it's been turning out. So I'm actually going to st actually start over in the game because now that I've actually kind of gotten a bit into the game, I can tell that the way I've been recording it and the way I've been kind of going through it isn't very... Um, it's honestly not fun to watch and it can get it gets kind of frustrating at some points so i'm actually going to be starting a new game and the way i'm going to be essentially formatting these videos is i'm basically going to play until either i've played for too long or until i like reach a boss and then i'll like try fighting the boss once and then when i die because i'm probably going to die the first time that i fight any of the bosses in this game i'm going to do some other stuff in in the game world until i've uh, played too long and then the next episode will start with me killing that boss because they they take a while they've been taking too much time for the most part and so what i'm going to do is essentially i'm going to basically show the successful run of me killing the boss and i'm going to continue on past that and this is all mainly just because the recording has been um with the, with the way the pace has been going has been kind of frustrating so I'm kind of doing it this new way. We're going to blast through the intro because obviously this is going to be like an episode, I guess like 1.5 since I'm starting over, but you know, uh, I'm going to be blasting through all this opening stuff. The language has also been changed to English. I remember I didn't do that in the first episode. Uh, it's mainly just for it to be a bit more convenient for people to watch. So yeah, sorry about that. I honestly think that the let's play is going to be a lot better if I just do this. And there's a lot of stuff to cover. All the, there's the, there's a lot to talk about with this game. Um, there's a lot of things that were done well. A lot of things that I really feel like were done kind of terribly. But we'll go into that when it shows up. Oh, I have to actually see the whole thing for it to be marked as done. Okay, well, there we go. I have heard uh, some people have been getting um, really bad frame rates on PC for some reason. Obviously, it's, it's running just fine for me, and that, that, that information obviously doesn't help people who have having, been having a hard time getting this to run. I know Jesse Cox and... Um, who is the other person? I think uh, Cry... They they both um, have not been having the best time getting this game to run properly. Skip it, Eduda. Funny thing is, the first episode, uh, I remember it was like an hour long episode, I'm probably going to get back to where I was in just like a few minutes. <laughs> now that I know exactly where I'm going and what I should be doing. Alright, let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Put a pellet there. Shouldn't there be a... I guess I have to talk to him again and then he gives me the gourd. Loyal, I see it is you. There we go. Yeah. Also use a pellet here. Oh god, this freaking tutorial actually threw off my timing, damn it. Oops. Oh, 
Come on. Might die on this guy. Oh yeah, if you put if you keep your guard up, <clears throat> you get your posture back. Bit by bit. Never mind, we got him. Thanks for the pellet. Where was it I went from here again? Could have sworn I like would grab up there. Hold on. I think I need to... Yeah, I need to do this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Little bridge troll. And we out. Skip it. Where shall I start? What, what, whatever. My love. All right. I think I'm pretty sure you can actually beat this guy too. Oh, I meant to jump to avoid that. That was a way better first go than uh, the last time, though, obviously. That's a fight you're meant to lose. I wonder what happens if you do beat him, though. I might have to, like, try that sometime. Downside would be every single time you want to try, you'd have to, like, go back through the tutorial area. Alright. Uh, how do I get here? Blah, 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 blah. Your left arm. Well, this is all stuff we saw in the first episode, so we're just going to. What did you You're quite other Where's that one lady? Did she show up now that I've rested? Yep. There she was, she just suddenly popped into existence. You the power I know. My name is Emma. I'm what? To it. I'm power that I 
You made this. Yes, but I believe even yeah, bring go. images out if you. Oh. I. What? what? No. Or I... I... All right. Goodbye. I'll murder you real quick. Some other I talk to send my warm well. Very well. Right. Have you missed an injury? Come back whenever if you have Alright, and that's basically everything we're gonna have to skip past. Um to you know, that's that's all like the dialogue and stuff like that related things that was in the first episode, so no more skipping past things. I meant to jump. found now to go here and get this this is important jerkin wheel for the for the, the hand thingy all right now uh was I able to grab this ledge no I have to jump up here Pellet. Yeah, I remember this guy. <laughs> now he only has half as much health as he did before. Yeah, I say draw. I literally just did that. And not as hard as it was the first time, obviously. Give me those beads. And a gourd seed, nice. Okay. Need to get out of the huge group here.
Okay, hold on. Let me equip a fistful of ash, because that's going to be useful here. Alright, whew, that was an intense battle. I went, I went kind of silent there, <laughs> for the most part, because I was trying to pay close attention. One thing I, I have disliked so far is I haven't found any means of, like, purchasing more things like the Fistful of Ash and stuff like that, which kind of gives it a sort of a Tuka D syndrome type thing. Say nothing. Give me that bell. Oh, right. Actually, I don't think we were at this point before in the first episode, so I should stop skipping my dialogue. Basically, this is her son right here. Uh, who is it? Is, is somebody there? Yes. That voice. No. Could it be? Sir, my name is Inosuke Nogami, a vassal of the Harata family. Or at least I was. I ask a favor. Might you look in on the old lady in that house? She's my mother, but her mind is failing. She cannot tell one from another. I met your mother. She gave me a bell. She did, did she? You have my thanks. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently. Something about offering it to Buddha. Right, and that bell's actually very important. Because it gives us access to a whole new area which has a lot of important stuff for us to get. Oh, I forgot about the demon chickens. And by that I mean just really fucking big ja big ass chickens. So yeah, okay. What am I to do? Okay, here we are. Bunch of goodies hidden away down here. Oh, you can also break in there. I actually never realized that. Uh, anyway. Let us... We're going to proceed a little bit further forward before we actually bring that bell to the statue that we're supposed to. <laughs> now those guys aren't going to notice, but that guy up there with the big gun just noticed us. That's fine, as long as we keep moving, he's not really much of an issue. Another pellet. Thanks for the space. Hey, we got a skill point. Wow, it took us that long to get our first skill point? <laughs> Just realized that, damn. This is where we want to get to, just that next little sculpture thing. Mainly because the part after that is much easier after you've gotten a little extra bit of equipment, so... Also, I want to get down here. Lord 
gone very few of us left, I see. Apologies. There's no end to those who seek the dragon's heritage. This was their fate. Because of those that pursued me, I didn't mean to involve them. All right. And that's as far as we're going down this path. Now we're just going to... Right, I don't have the ability to do that yet. Okay, first of all, let's go back to the dilapidated temple and get our gourd upgraded because we have that gourd seed. And then we'll also drop the bell off at the Buddha statue, which actually has some interesting little implications. I saw... Yes? I saw you and Lord Kuro in a vision. A vision? Yes. Where is Lord Kuro right now? He's being kept near the keep at Ashina Castle. The gate to the castle, however... Is shut. I see. I'm glad you. Whoops. Is this? A yes. Plant the seed. In Perfect. Now the volume of medicinal water. Such a strain. Is it strain? <laughs> if it's effective, then that's cause for celebration, whether it's strange or not. That's what my mentor Dogen taught me. I see. Please bring me any other gourd seeds you find. I should be able to further increase the volume of the medicinal water. So, then, or perhaps... Huh. Alright, she's just talking about his face. Did I hear the ringing of a... It was probably... I was told to offer it to Buddha. Does the bell hold any significance for you? If it does, talk to the sculptor. He is quite knowledgeable when it comes to Buddha. What is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before. If only a little. Take this. Hey. What is it? Shinobi technique recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting technique. Right, that's what the skill point's for. Anyway, uh, go ahead and offer this bell here. Yeah, I didn't even talk to the guy about the bell, but oh well. So I don't think it matters. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. chime will stir your thoughts and awaken old memories from their slumber all right and you actually get to play these sequences and you can actually warp in and out of them at your leisure so it, this is kind of interesting. Acquiring skills. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go ahead and start doing that. Makiri counter. I actually kind of want to save up for the Makiri counter because I think that one's very useful. So we're not actually going to spend our skill point yet. Makiri counter is essentially when a spear uses a charge at you. If you dodge forward at the spear, your guy will basically stomp the spear into the ground. And it does a shit ton of uh, posture damage. Regular enemies basically just get instantly killed by it. Um, and tougher enemies just takes a ton of uh, posture damage. But the most important part is that it's easier to dodge doing that because instead of like trying to get out of the way and stuff like that, which can be kind of finicky, you're basically just guaranteeing a successful thing. Plus, it, you know, sometimes if it, sometimes it might be easier to dodge by like jumping out of the way, but you can keep your finger on the same button to dodge and not needing to move it to jump, so you can react a bit quicker. I honestly wish everything in this game had a means of dodging with the dodge button and like you know maybe just different directions and stuff like that. But unfortunately, there's some dodges where you have to move your hand, your, move your thumb around the controller to. Uh, oh, one second. Oh, sorry, I have to skip that. Hurry, the divine. 
bandit attack, basically. What year is it? mentioned an old memory I don't remember any of this but it appears this is the past hmm. let's see ah yes dowsing powder because fire is the thing And here we go. Uh, little treasure carp scale. Basically, it's like a collectible. I don't even know what they're actually used for yet. Now, the guys with torches, if they spot you, they'll actually flail their torch around and start shouting to alert everyone else. You gotta be careful with them. Oh, he just straight up sees me. Okay. Dogs. No, luckily they're not a super big deal in this game because they die in one hit. So you can just block them and attack. No big deal. I should check over there. Pretty sure I checked over there last time, but I forgot what there was over here. here? I don't think I did. Ah. Uh, it would be nice if there's just another collectible running on the side of a rock on the opposite side of the bridge. Well, I suppose that'd be a little too obvious. So basically those balloon things are basically just like temporarily increased like luck or gold find and stuff like that. Again, I hate those because it's it's too good to use syndrome just all over it. Cause it's like, well, what if I find some like amazing farming area later, and it's like the best thing thing to use it on ever. You get what I'm saying? We'll just rest because no point not to. We're not backtracking, so we're not gonna run into those guys again. I'm trying to shoot bows through the wall. You can't do that. Oh, and these like sugars are basically like temporary like defense or attack uh, buffs, which again, too good to use syndrome all over that. Now, if I if I had a place to where I can like uh, buy them with the currency I'm picking up, then that wouldn't really be a big deal. Oh, I can move. I got. I can't move. He ain't bowing. Fucking David Bowie over here. <laughs> I picked up some oil from that guy. But that's not useful until I get fire, which is actually quite soon. It's actually, it's hidden very well in plain sight, which really annoys me because I, I didn't find it on my first go through here. It wasn't until like I was talking with a friend afterwards like, oh yeah, that's over th th that place. And I'm like, oh. You'll, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's just... Guy over 
over here. I remember you. There's another skill point. I dislike that you can't like easily walk off those tree branches. Because then you gotta jump off and you're just like way out in plain sight and it's like you get spotted by dudes. Come on, dog boy. Come on, dog. Well, if you turn around, I'm going to get you. Wait, what? Something like stunned me and I don't understand what it was. This is not, okay, this is not a good place to be right now. Go ahead and run off. If I get really far, they kind of like lose track of you, so... Oh, and here's where the fire is. In the fire. See how easy that is to see? <laughs> A dog spotted me. We'll let him run out because that's what dogs do. They run ahead. I wanted to finish him. Oh, uh, well. Okay, well that was hectic, but we're through it. <laughs> Guy's like drunk, so he's not really, not really a threat. All right, well. go ahead and get to the next save point. Ooh, that came, that swing came out a little quicker than I initially thought it was going to. Better use a pellet, otherwise I'm kind of chilling in one-shot range here. Those worthless bastards. Hello. You are. God, what's this guy's voice from? The main character's English voice actor. I know I've heard that voice like a million times before From the temple. but I can't quite pin it Split their skulls wide open. Please. take that more sugar Yeah, that's a shortcut. Oh, I never grabbed this item, apparently. More ash. We burning this temple. No, leave it. But if there's any offering, we could give them enough. We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your please? Don't get angry at me, boss. I'm sorry I scored so shit. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm such a doof.
Could have sworn there was a guy in here. Remember, I mean, maybe he was patrolling around because there was like a guy that was kind of cautious over here early. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Don't know why he's there. His boss is like, you've been bad. Go wait in the corner. <laughs> There we go, here's another attachment. You get like two, like back to back. This is the axe one. Yay. You know, I just realized I haven't even put the shuriken one in. I gotta like do that. Let's go back to the rest point and warp back to the dilapidated temple. Okay. It's also a choir, so let's just get that spear move real quick. So far, so not dead yet, so that's good. I found one. A shinobi? Yes. I said before, but by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices, Needs more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. All right. The Shinobi prosthetic. Appears you've taken to it quite well. Here, this is for you. Oh. What is it? It contains ways to bite into your foes with that fang of yours. In other words, fighting techniques for your prosthetic arm. I see. I had thought that prosthetic techniques wouldn't ever be needed again, but it seems I was wrong. All right. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there? Don't do anything funny with it. All right. Now I have to equip the prosthetics I just unlocked. And just like that, we have three new tools immediately added to our arsenal. Let's also go ahead and purchase spirit emblems because money is very quick and easy to lose in this game. So spend it while you have it. All right, and that is actually important because we're about to run some enemies where this stuff is actually... Uh, very relevant. In fact, let's actually head to that place where we got to before with the statue, because there's a reason I wanted to go to the uh, whole sort of past dream, not a dream sequence there to get the uh, the fire and axe tools, because the fire one in particular we, like, we really need. Granted, uh, last time I did this, I ended up getting past this bit without the fire, but it's much harder, and it kind of feels cheap, but we have the fire now. What a joke. Ashina sure has a funny way of preparing for war. I want this fire to be ready here. Now, we're actually going to run past him and aggro the spear fellow first because we don't want him interrupting our shit. Howdy.
This guy's grabs are also very finicky. It's, it's an important thing to note. He pretty much has to treat him like he's always going to be grabbing you. And sort of playing like keep away. Oh, I don't have any more uses of the fire thing. I have to actually like take him on now. Oof. Oh, that's much smoother with fire. You can basically skip past this whole first health thing because you can keep him perpetually, like, afraid of you. Prayer bead, yay. Medicine rank, nice. That's also really good. You know, I thought you had to get the crab beaten out of you by an enemy for that to actually apply, because the first time I fought this giant, I'm pretty sure I died to him about ten times. But this time, it was just like, eh, whatever. Okay. Now I can just... Oh yeah, I, I don't open the door, I just I go above. But now that that guy's out of the way, let's go back to the dream and... Get a different guy out of the way. Let's see. Acquire skills. Run and slide. That one's useful. Let's get our stealthy ones up first because those are actually very nice for uh, whittling down some enemies before dealing with like a difficult enemy. And this is also just going to be kind of a long episode, sort of as like an apology for uh, basically restarting everything. Hey, chicken. I swear there's like one more chicken over here somewhere. There he is. Oh, there's two. Oh wait, this is the one I was already at. This one over here is the one that I haven't touched yet. Hey, open up. Open up, or I can hear you wish if you don't surrender peaceably now. You're gonna look hey, can you hear me? Young lords, oh thank goodness, honorable shinobi, those filthy bandits are after the young lord. They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, shinobi, please rescue the young lord. I like that he's technically just staring right at like that sort of wooden thing right in his face. I pray it is of help. Thank you. I want to jump up there. I don't think so. No. Nah. You. Yes. For what good are you? You were nowhere to be seen when things went south. Wait. Tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of their attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. 
I hope you die, traitor. Man, as somebody who is like, you know, nearby this house the entire time for the attack, I you certainly seem to have a lot of information to make assumptions off of. I was at home the whole time, but I didn't see you, therefore you probably caused all the bandits to get here. I hope you die. Y'all. Hey, good sir. Are you a looter too? Good sir, are you look like a shinobi, I think. Are you looking for something? Well, in any case, <laughs> I found this place first. Hmm? <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? And uh, you know, don't let the door hit you on the Oh, by the way, while I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was a fine pagoda. Really fine. I bet there's some kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Gotta be. That's what I think, at least. I have no idea what a pagoda is. I'm gonna have to Google that. <laughs> I assume it's some kind of structure. But, you know. Otherwise, I wouldn't know. Ah, yes. Uh, basically gives you the power to res an additional time if you feel like you need it. <laughs> it looks shields made of wood, which is what axes break. Yeah, so these guys are just hard countered by an axe. Which is nice. Alright, so the way this one typically ends up going down is I need to murder a lot of these people by stealth while that guy in like the white outfit over there, I need to I need him to be the last guy that basically sees me. I need to eliminate everyone else. But that might be hard because I don't have upgrades to my like sound and sight reduction from enemies. But we need to be patient. Because we also want to try and make sure that spear guy gets stealth attacked as well. So we need to be particularly careful. And that guy's going to see me. Maybe. No, he didn't. Wow. I'm actually very surprised he didn't see me. Okay, let's see if I can get by without him seeing me here. He's cautious, but he didn't see me. That's important, because other enemies will give up, but tougher enemies like him, they won't. So, as long as he specifically doesn't see me, uh, we'll be fine. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Am I gonna like die from something down here? I've never actually fallen in the water like this. There's probably a place I can like leap out. Oh yeah, here we go. That's actually nice that the water isn't an instant kill. And from here we'll head over to that side. Oh. Didn't mean to fall like that, but oh well. We here now. Again, I really wish I can just walk off of this. Jumping like is a really kind of gives away your position pretty significantly. Damn it, he spotted me. I, I'm gonna try just running really far away and seeing if that makes him give up the chase because uh, taking away one of his health orbs is like really important. 
doing that from stealth is, is really important. Yeah, he appears to have given up the chase. Okay. Good, okay, that's good to know. Just run really far away. I assume that if I did a stealth attack and ran away, he'd get the orb back. I might actually just test that real quick. Because if not, that can be a very effective way of cheesing these dudes. <laughs> okay, he's given up the chase. Question is, how far did he chase me? He'll probably have his health orb back. I mean, you know, if it does, not a big deal. We'll just do the stealth attack again and fight him like normal. But, uh, important lesson to learn. Yeah, he has it, he has it back. Okay. They thought that through. Let's see if we can bait out his charge. Here we go. Oh, that wasn't the one, but I'll take it. Ow. Oh, there's that stomp. Oh god, I wanted to heal real quick and then he immediately used the uh, thing. Okay. This guy's much easier once you have that stomp. Because it's a much more reliable means of uh, countering that attack than, uh, than basically any other method that you start with. More pellets. Any other items over here? Doesn't seem like it. Ah, oh, there's one. And here's another sculpture. And this is actually what we'll call this little sort of return episode here. Uh, sorry that there was like no videos on this for a few days, especially since I know people really, really wanted to see this. Uh, you know, I ended up getting like five or six episodes in and it was, I was like, this isn't going to be fun to watch. So I decided to kind of just start over uh, with it. Especially since now I have a better idea of what I'm getting into. I kind of know how to kind of feel about a lot of the stuff that goes on in this game. So get our stealth up. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. If you are enjoying the video, please leave a like. It lets me know that you enjoy the... <laughs> well, okay, that's a horrible fucking outro. I keep winging it. I really need to just kind of have like a dedicated thing I say every time for an outro. But you know, if you like the video, like the video. If you leave a comment, I always like reading them and they help the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.